Hello fellow coffee botherers, in this video I'm going to be talking about and demonstrating using the Sage or Breville Barista Express Impress in full home barista mode. The Express Impress is made to assist with the tricky parts of home espresso, namely dosing and tamping. But as I've said in other videos, you don't have to use the assistance if you don't want to. You might decide to get started using the assistance, but then you might want to have a crack at pulling shots in full home barista mode, also known as geek mode. Or you might want to use the machine in home barista mode and your significant other might want to use it fully assisted. You might also want to use it fully manually, what I'm referring to as home barista mode or geek mode, while you have more time on your hands at the weekends or whenever you have a day off work, but on assisted mode when you're in a mad rush. So I'm going to show you how to use it in home barista mode, a couple of different options, including a nice, simple middle ground. I'm also going to put my home barista skills to the test against the Express Impress on auto mode, so we can see how close the machine comes to home barista cup quality, regardless of puck prep skills. So let's make coffee. First of all, I'm demonstrating fully assisted. I've already dialed the machine in off camera, mainly by tweaking the grind size and ratio to get the best tasting espresso with the coffee I'm using. I'm using the chocolate brownie blend from seaworks.co.uk, by the way, and use a discount code YT25 for 25% off if you've not tried my coffee before. You can see on the screen what grind size I'm using, and I've got the internal burst setting set to 5. See this video on the top right of the screen for more info on that. I'm aiming for a 1 to 2 ratio, so 18 grams of coffee to about 36 grams of espresso, because this seems to give me the best results with this bean. The brew temperature is at the factory preset of 93 degrees Celsius. If I wanted to, I could knock that up to 94 or 95, or down to 93 or 92. But I'm happy at 93 with these beans. This is something you can experiment with as part of the dialing in process. So I'm doing this shot fully assisted, portafilter in the grinds cradle, tamp, the light is on the smiley face so the dose is right, tamp again to polish the surface. Portafilter in, press the shot button and I've already reprogrammed the shot button to give me the yield I'm aiming for. Okay, so that was very quick and simple, but let's say it's a lazy Saturday late morning and I want to spend a bit more time with it and I'm pulling a shot in full home barista mode. I can either get an aftermarket bottomless porter filter or I can just take the splitter off the standard one so it fits above the drip tray with the dosing ring on. I've got the Sage dosing funnel on the porter filter and I need to use scales here as I'm dosing manually. I've got the machine set to manual as you can see with this light and I'm using the double shot basket so I've got the light on the bigger filter basket as you can see here. Someone emailed me about this the other day. They couldn't figure out why they were getting such short shots and it's because they were using the double basket and they had this set to a single shot. So just keep that in mind. This is how you tell the machine which basket you're using. So I've dosed 18 grams in the basket and now I'm going to do my WDT and I'm using a distribution tool too because it's fun and it might help a bit. It's debatable whether it's overkill after doing WDT but I like doing it anyway. Now to pull the shot. Done. So you can see what both methods look like and how the fully assisted mode is quicker and less faff for when you want speed and lack of faffery. But now let's do side by side shots, fully assisted mode and geek mode. and Let's see how the shots differ visually. Using the visual clues from pulling a naked portafilter shot gives us an idea of which shot is best. Ideally, we'd taste them too, but YouTube hasn't yet developed the ability to lick, only to click. And speaking of clicking, that like button could do with a little tap, I reckon. So let's look at both shots side by side. You can see on the screen which is which and I'll let you decide who won that one. Who has the better puck prep chops? The Express Impress or me? Let me know in the comments. 
In terms of best, a well extracted shot without channeling should quickly turn into one central stream of espresso, and it should be a nice tiger striped pattern, starting off darker and getting lighter, blonding uniformly towards the last part of the shot. Signs of poor extraction and channeling include dry spots on the filter that look like patches that the coffee is avoiding, spurters or squirters and early or patchy blonding. I'll do a dedicated bottomless porter filter video in the not too distant future, so subscribe and allow notifications to see that when it's done. In my opinion, the shot quality this will produce in auto mode with very little effort is really good, and how much improvement you're going to get by going fully manual will depend on your barista skills, mainly the consistency of the tamp. If you want a way to improve the quality of the shot without going fully manual, here's a little bonus for you, and I'll do this using the naked porter filter so we can see what the shot looked like. As you can see, I'm back to auto, so we're back to fast and simple. But what I'm doing here is I'm not pushing the lever all the way, so I get that final click. I'm just pushing it enough to push the coffee down so it doesn't spill out of the basket when I'm pulling the porter filter out. Now to WDT and then distributing. And this time, using the distribution tool does actually serve a purpose because if I put the porter filter back in the cradle without doing that, I'd spill coffee on the drip tray. So if I wasn't using the distribution tool, I'd have to give it a light manual tamp instead. And now just back to the rest of the usual auto process, tamp and pull. So this method literally just allows you to add the WDT step to the workflow. And in my opinion, this is the one thing that is likely to bring the most improvement into your shots. Now to pull the shot, and this time we'll put the shot on the screen versus the fully manual shot so you can decide which is best. Now let's put all three shots on the screen, fully manual, fully auto, and fully auto with WDT. Comment below on which number you think looks best, and keep an eye on the community post, I'll announce the winner there. So there you go, that's how to pull a fully manual shot with the Barista Express Impress with a bonus method Auto plus WDT. The small pocket in your jeans is actually for your pocket watch and that has nothing to do with clicking the like button, but click the like button if you don't have a pocket watch in your pocket. Well, okay. Thank you very much for watching and if you love coffee and enjoyed this video, we've got tons of content about how to make better coffee at home to take you from beginner to home barista and we've got reviews and how to's on the most popular machines. If you like the sound of that, you will click my face to subscribe. You will click my face to subscribe. Tatty bye.